Okay. Well, this game just changed on me. Welcome back to One Shot. What is up, everybody? It's Mr. Energy here. Today, I, I, when I loaded back up, um, this is what's on here. It's kind of like a... I don't know what's going on here. Cool. And oh, okay, okay. Energy, are you still there? Uh, yes, yes I am. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw him. You did? <laughs> How? I, I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do in the sun from your world. This isn't my world, trust me on that. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, I guess not. If you're a god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? Earth. Earth? Like the stuff on the ground? Wait, you live underground? No. Ah, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Yes. It's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? <laughs> that was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my whole world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw it, right? It goes away sometimes at night. Oh, sometimes at night. Sometimes it stay out the whole night, but sometimes it goes away. <laughs> Everything is dark, kind of like it is in this world now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world's like that, too. Ah, you sleep during the night. We go to sleep uh, usually, but some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? They're a bunch of they're a bunch of them in this world. A anyway, we should probably get going. Yeah, I don't sleep during the night. I sleep during the day. So yeah, it's a note on that because I work all night. Let's see here. Oh, she put the gas on um, gas mask on right away. Okay, good. I should be fine with this mask on. Good. There we go. This vent, uh, this vent is in the ground. All the others are taller than me. Oh, okay. Well, then I should do. Nope, this one. I guess you want me to fill the bottle with gas energy. Yeah, I do. That ought to do it. Okay, good. Got it. Initially, the amount of uh, noxious, noxious. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted in the natural uh, gas vents caught the team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barrens. We found that there's not one, but two vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentration, it seems like a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. I was wondering about that. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting, wafting, wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, we have lots of these little guys. No kidding. Anything else over here that I missed? Okay, it didn't look like it. So I got that. What am I going to use that for? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, what is up here? I find it interesting how her eyes turn blue and then yellow again when she loads back in. Oh, another building. Cool. What's in here? Evacuation at such short notice. At such short notice. I can't believe this. First the sun dies. Now I'm out of a job. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Cool. Okay. We're going to go up. I'm scared of ladders. Of course you are. Okay. So can't go up that. Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thank you. Hey, 
Hey, sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living that awful ca capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll be, you'll sleep, but soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Ah. I wish... Uh, looks like... What? Where did I... Oh, okay, that's the second phrase. Okay. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff up for the evacuation soon, starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's going to be a pain to carry them into the ship. But they're by the author. So it is by the author. That, that was right in that, that note I read. I can't just throw them away. Okay, there's no one up there. Scared of ladders. I know that. It's just looking up there. Ooh, a medical place. That sounds great. Hello, person of organic makeup. <laughs> Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries? Um, scan complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You're good to go. Thanks. Box of medical tools? Uh... Classic syringe. Seems to be okay. Okay, good. Hello, person. Are you seeking administration from a mission into the infirmary? And no. Okay, carry on then. Okay, what's in this building? A picture of a robot. You know, I've been around so many robots before energy. Or, oh yeah, I haven't been around so many uh, robots lately. Whatever. Or any robots at all. I mean, I've seen them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen them in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, hey Nico, do robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um, ahem. <clears throat> Beep boop, I am a robot, and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> That's not correct. Oh, there's a guy up there. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Energy. You made me look silly. Actually, I don't, I don't care. It wasn't... It was funny. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I'm sitting here. By yourself? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, there's a there's a, vic, uh, a place here. Terminals. Some of the ink is fade. Uh, some of the ink on the page is faded, likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interface. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much that the maintenance cannot keep up to pace, fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least not as not as, at not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Power cell, I think. There's a writing on this one too. It says guardian of, the resi guardian of the residential area. Ooh. Looks like they're evacuating a few tamed robots. They're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in all the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going to. So the engineer is the only one left. So no, she didn't. Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ships started to man, man, malfunctioning uh, only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what that means. A uh, bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we work so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to turn, uh, be our turn soon. Okay. Nothing up there. Okay. I know you're scared of ladders. We're just looking up there. That's all. Oh, this must be the guardian dude. Oh, hello. What are you doing there? Mm, a living person such as yourself should have been evacuated uh, this place a long time ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See, I have the sun. Oh, the Messiah. I do not know what to say. 
Greetings was not part of my programming. You have spoken to... Have you spoken to the Prophet Bot? I think so, yeah. Prophet Bot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak to you with anyone else. At least, not with these. Oh, that's uh, kind of sad. What were you before then? My purpose is to guard the settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. I don't understand this whole tame thing. Oh, gas mask. Okay. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas field. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is it... Is that a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? Oh, that, that, uh, that... I guess it's a robot, the one that was at the, um, the boat. I just gotta get him. And I actually, I have... What was it I needed? I, I have a bottle of smoke. I don't know if I need anything else. I don't think that would work, though, because... Oh, what's this? What's this? A pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Okay. Hello. 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 There you go. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Well. Ooh, there's a, there's a thing here. Seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of uh, cleaning solvents and the environment. Here's a simple recipe for the alternative method discussed in the last chapter. Utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Renegades. Acid gas. Blue phosphor rare form. Okay, so the rare form was the one in the... It was in the um, in the pond, I think, is what it said. Instruction. In a well-ventilated area, direct uh, the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. Okay. Well, I've already done that part. So hopefully there's more um, maybe in here. Ooh, I have a crowbar. Good. Good thing I kept this crowbar. What a workout. All right. What does this say? Seems to be a page ripped out of the book. Okay, two, good. Okay, so without breaking the seal, inject the liquid uh, phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. If the elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Hand protection is critical. This is a step. Resulting acid. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than your comet household cleaner. I don't know what half these words mean. <laughs> Good thing you're here, Energy. Well, fortunately for you, I think I know what I have to do now. A clean sponge with rough surface. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to, um, I need to find that stuff. Oh, wait, I have a, I have a syringe. That would probably be able to get that, uh, actually, wait, I have to find a, I have to find one of those bubbles first. Which I don't seem to see over here. Maybe I missed it on the way back. Yeah, because there's nothing else over here that I can see right now. So... I'm going to run back here. And... Unit MR... Uh, RM... Uh, 2883417. Reporting for duty. I saw you spoke to the Guardian of Settlement. I will now escort you... Until you reach your dormitory. Um, what? Okay. Okay, I don't think... Where'd he go? Is he, is he gonna follow me? <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to... Are you just gonna follow me? Yes. Until you safely reach a building of your destination. All right, cool. Well, I have a buddy now. I think I've been in every single building. So I gotta go back. 
All I need is that rare form, which is one of these ponds with the blue top, I think. I think that's all it is. Here's a gas. Now that I think about it, there was an area to the left that I kind of went around. Like right, right here? Yeah, right there. Does this have it? Oh, this does have it. Cool. Okay, so, um, a pond, sh this pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. Okay, so that's the, that's the good stuff. So, empty syringe. So, we're filling up the syringe. Guess it's kind of like a funnel. The liquid might be able, might be too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. Um, okay, and the next thing I need to do is filled and smoke. So she just inject the liquid into the cork, right? Yes. It's like I'm a doctor. Oh, we should probably shake this too. Yeah, if you would. Changing color. Good. Okay, battle, bottle of ax acid. Bottle of acid. Um, I think I need to go on the sponge, right? Guess you want me to pour this acid on the sponge energy. Good thing I have these gloves, and that was that was the other thing they asked me to do is have gloves. Hope this works. Okay. Now what do I need that oh yeah, that's right. I need it for the rowboat thing. Rowboat guy. I think? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. Possibly. More than likely not, but you know. Well actually no, that's not that makes sense. Let's let's go to the rowboat guy, see if it works on him. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, energy helped me. But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am Robot310. Would you like to would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. <laughs> well, you uh you're still really rusty, and that's what I needed. Okay, that is true. Hold on, energy, and I will find you a way to help you. Okay, well, I fortunately know how to do that. All right, hold still. I have no other choice. That is, that is very true. There. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. I am able to, fo uh, I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? You take me to the tower. Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen Port number... My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Aw. <laughs> is there anything I, I can do to help? In the event of error, you should speak to the head engineer. She will know what to do. Okay, well, I know where she is. She is down here in this long path of walking back and forth, walking back and forth. And we shall eventually make it, I'm sure. Or is that a thing I could pick up? Just a head. <laughs> Yikes. Nope. Cannot pick that up. I haven't checked on this guy yet. Hey, hi. Hello, smaller person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to Lookout Point. Below us is the old quarry. Head engineer lives a little bit more east. The entrance uh, to the uh, mines is further to the east. Okay, I, I already knew that. Excuse me, miss. I found a robot who can take me to the tower. But I'm having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright. What was the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just navigation circuits. Apparently. Energy, I energy and I fix everything else. I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. That would be awesome. If you let the robot borrow this, then... Its backup tracking system should activate. Ooh. Oh, it's got that clover on it. Wait. Wait a moment. What if I use a clover on the boat, on the, the book? That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from Glen. What's the thing inside the amber? A black clover. It's a common plant in our world. It's also... I'm not sure if I can bear apart with, that, with this. Our programming says yes, but I still I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than 
I need a keepsake. Here. Thank you. All right, I'm out of here. Before I go, is there anything I could do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah. I'm really good at chess. Well, sort of. I played it with some older kids before. Then, will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's at least I could do. You're really good at this. Thank you. I was built... It was built into my code. Ah, so what's it like being a robot and all? I've talked to other robots, and they say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. <laughs> Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated, exactly? There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh. There goes my little horse. Knight. Right. Oh, have you uh, been to any other regions? I heard there are two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this apparent. Uh, I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point. And the things and things went, uh, went south really fast after that. Oh! There's nothing I can do. Check. What?! When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are supposed to be the second chance for people. Just like how Barons was supposed to be the second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But check me. <laughs> Alright, I guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you will get home safely. Ah, thank you also. Well, I just got I just got whooped in chess. Well, not really. I, I didn't get to play it myself. But if I had, I would have beat her. Maybe. If she was programmed for it, probably not. Hello again. Hi. Energy and I have are going to leave now. We found a robot that can take us closer to the tower. Oh, thanks for helping me by answering my questions. That means I fulfilled my purpose. Mm-hmm. I wish you luck for the rest of your journey. Okay, thanks, dude. That's awesome. Let's see. I think he was, like, the second one, third one. Oh, there he is. He's like the fourth one. Okay. There you go. Have you talked to the head engineer yet? She lives near the mine. I'll give you coordinates, but... <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, let's see here. Amber. Actually, you know what? Before we do anything else, I'm going to try this. I can't combine those. Okay. Good to know. Ah, uh, did it better. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> this is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait, the boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh, well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Watch me need a crowbar later. Or this gas mask and gloves. That is acceptable. Onwards we go. Kind of cool. Whoa. Here is your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. I don't know what that means. All right. Well, we're in the glens now. So, that seems like a good place to stop. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see. And this is actually a really cool game. I really like this game so far. I wonder if I could like... Horizon of Glue Blow. Wait. Glowing Blue. What? What? How did I say that wrong? 
Anyways, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave that drum up. And uh, yeah, this, this is going to be a lot of fun. Actually, yeah, what's in here? A pool. Cool. Okay. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.